Tony, I've heard that Terence had a really unusual route to directing. An extremely unusual route. Mm. I think a lot of people come to film sometimes by an unusual route. Certainly in those days, 1930s, uh, which is when he started in the business. He went to train on a, uh, on a training ship, a naval training ship called HMS Convoy in the, in the, uh, in the Mersey. And he, he was only young, he was a young teenager then, and he trained there. And then after that, after he left that, he, he went into shipping. He was in the merchant service. And then, I don't, we don't quite know what happened. I think he just changed his mind. He thought, I'm mm. not going to make this as my career. He was a very shy, gentle man. Uh, totally, I mean, everybody gets the impression of a film director uh, being a dictatorial, uh, sometimes a dictatorial, mm -hmm. with a megaphone and jumpers on. Yes, but Terry old school. Was, yeah, <laughs> Terry was just the opposite. He was shy, always consulted the actors about what they wanted to do, nice. what they saw the scene uh, as. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons why Chris liked him a lot, Chris Lee. Yeah. Was he, he was an unusual director in the sense of, so he, he was the house director at Hammer. I mean, going back a few decades, he, he did become the house director after making a lot of films before he got to the horror. Coming soon on Talking Pictures TV.